Okay, in the last video, we learned how to make the bearing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to assemble the entire unit. Um, and the first step is to assemble this uh, pulley assembly. And you basically put the, pu put the pulley in and center it on the axis. You take the shortest shaft in the kit and press it in. should go all the way um, and there's two sides of the pin there's a flat side and a round side you're going to push the round side in first all right so then what you do is with all the 3d printed parts um, except for this one uh, you're going to put the bolts through and you're going to put the t-slots on as a preparation because if you have all the T-slots prepared, you can just assemble it really quickly. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, there's four of each type of screw. And then it's gonna require two different um, keys. This one. And only put a couple threads on in the beginning because you're going to want to be able to get it into the slot. And if you tighten it too much, you won't be able to get it into the T-slot. So you're going to go ahead and prepare all of the different components with their T-slots like this. You're going to use the long uh, black bolts in both the slide and the stops. And then you're going to use the short one, short silver ones in the slider car piece. So again, just a couple threads. And you want to be careful to not move the slider off because the bearings will come out. Um, and you can wear gloves if you don't want to get any of your hand oils on the slider because uh, you should wipe that off, otherwise, you'll get little rust spots. So again, put them the T slots on. Two more parts. We're gonna use the black ones again. And it all assembles pretty quick uh, as long as you have the bearing made already. And I typically make the bearing the night before. Let the glue dry overnight. Uh, and then these two are for the mounting brackets on the side, um, which we'll also prepare those. So these have a washer, and you can put more than one washer. Um, one thing is if you don't want to use clamps and you want to actually screw it to a table, there are tabs on these that you should grind off, and you should grind all four on each one of them off, uh, and that's kind of a modification. In the original units, I did that, um, but I don't have access to the same shop, so I don't have that tool anymore to be able to grind those tabs off. Alright, so now all the T-slots are on, and we can basically just quickly assemble the unit. <coughs> um, you take the two magnets, you put them on the target, because what's going to happen is that one of these pins, the thin pin, is going to be in the slider car, and the magnets are going to be then flush with that pin so that it attaches. Um, so you can figure out which way you want to do it with the label. I like to turn the lay look at it and then turn it down. Uh, so when you put these in, there's a truck. You can see the T-slot and when you turn, when you turn it, it's going to eventually lock into place. And if you don't see it turn and lock into place, then you should undo it and redo it. So it turned, it locked into place, and you want to make that sure of that on all of them. Uh, and then I'll provide the torque values for these screws, but good and tight, not too tight so that you hear cracking or anything breaking, uh, but we can go through, back through, and tighten them up again at the end. Um, 
So then you're gonna put your slider car on. And then this you need to kind of make sure that it's centered because it has some motion left and right. Uh, again, you're gonna twist them until it turns. I'm gonna verify it turned. And then this, since it's all metal on metal, you can tighten it a bit more. Uh, and I've gone back and forth and I've made <coughs> these stops thicker inside. Uh, so you can tighten them pretty tight, but you know, you don't want to hear cracking of anything. So that's pretty tight. Uh, and then the pulley car. So you see, once you have all the T-slots on, this whole thing assembles quite quickly. And that's a nice thing because if you're traveling, you can disassemble it. I mostly keep it assembled. I think that the largest thing <coughs> is the um, the clamp mounts. The clamp mounts basically uh, <coughs> are are the bulkiest item. And then when you put these on, you want to put them on a flat surface and you want to make sure that the bolt is centered in, in the clamp spot. So, final piece, you're going to take your car and you're going to put all four of the silver ones in their holes. assemble it to the slider. And don't tighten them, just snug them up and then you can go back and tighten them. Right now I'm going and I'm going through and I'm tightening them all. You have your small pin, which you're going to put here, just for the target, and the target lines up with the slots, that's all good. Then you're going to put your large pin, and when you first put this in, it's going to be kind of stiff, but um, over time, it's going to work. Uh, and then you have your line here, um, you want to grab a lighter, I don't have one, uh, and clean up the ends, um, but then you basically go through and you tie two different bowlins in either side and that's it and the rig's done and so then you can mount it to a table and trim your glider uh, and you have a small compact rig it's tied do another one real quick here have little stainless steel carabiners, um, but you really just need something that can hold five kilograms. Um, just grab this, tighten that, okay, there you go, all assembled, the logo, uh, and that's the line trimming rig.